Yeah, so today we're on NBA 2K23 and we're gonna do a career reset. So um, I'll, let me just explain what a career reset is. So we're gonna take a player. Uh, in this case, it is Devin Booker and put him back to his original rookie overall. So um, instead of just, you know, putting him in a draft class and kind of re-simulating his career that way, I just wanted to put him back to his rookie overall with the current team he has. So he's 19. I know he was drafted as he was 18, but we'll we'll just leave it how it is. He's a 76 overall. I did give him um, 99 potential just so that you know, uh, just to see how good he is after it. I did lower all of his things down to like his original build. Some things um, are a little bit different, but you know, it is what it is. So, but the whole team is the exact same. Um, I wanted to start with Devin Bucker since he is the uh, cover athlete for this year. So yeah, um, I also have the in the draft class for this coming year. So I got Webinyama and Scoot Henderson. And so we'll just simulate. Um, I also didn't want to play around with salary caps. So like Devin Booker's getting his salary right now, which is five years for 232 million. So we're just going to leave it like that. And um, yeah, we're just going to simulate his whole career and see. Um, and as you can see, he is a still a decent mid-range shooter and a good three-point shooter. So we'll see how he develops, but his Perimeter defense isn't that good, his playmaking isn't that good, and his IQ isn't that good. His potential, I don't know why, is that a B plus, should be an A plus. But you know, we'll see. We'll see if Chris Paul can carry this team. So um he is, I believe, starting for this team. Yeah, he's a starter. So um yeah, so we'll just simulate the first season. Uh let's just simulate through this first game just to see his stats. Alright, it's a loss. And he got 26 points. Pretty good. Pretty good shooting. Shooting splits, free throws. I mean, he played really well, so we'll see. Alrighty. See you guys uh, at the All Star break if he makes an All Star. If not, we'll see you guys at the end of the season to see if he won Rookie of the Year. Alrighty, so uh, I brought you here right before the All Star break. He didn't make an All Star team. Um. He, uh, I can show you the award races right now with Luka being in front for MVP and then Joker right behind him. He's fifth for rookie of the year, averaging 22, three, and almost a steal. And then this is kind of the picture of the races. Um, you don't really care about all-star teams if he's not on it. And everybody's down in overall for some reason. I don't know why. Um, this team is also not that good. The because for on mock drafts the suns are projected with the number one pick along with their record of 15 and 38 which i don't understand how like i guess devin booker does make a very big difference so we might just see devin booker and victor webinyama together um he is uh he's the i believe yeah he's the highest score uh points per game rookie which is pretty good um he is also leading the team in points per game with, I would say, pretty decent shooting splits on his first year, so we'll see. But I guess they're just going to tank the rest of this year, because I don't know why they're not that good, because how far down are they? The points per game and the points allowed are horrible. I don't know. I'll, I'll just simulate to the end of the season and just show you if they do anything or i just might send it straight to the to the draft Let's see if who we who we pick probably picking victor webb and yama or maybe scoot henderson since chris paul's getting it up there Alrighty, all right it's the end of the season and we finished with a 31 and 51 record with 36 team chemistry uh there were a few trades that i saw that we made um they weren't really that notable they were just kind of like um like end of the bench guys so i just didn't really look at him so Luca with MVP almost averaging 40 a 40 point triple double with almost two steals and almost 50 for almost 50 40 90 Paolo with rookie of the year averaging a little under 29 and three pretty good shooting splits too especially from three that's pretty good 
Malcolm Brogdon, six man of the year with the Celtics, 17, five and five and five. Uh, Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year with uh, 28 and 13 with two, uh, or sorry, one steal and two blocks. And then Trey Jones, Most Improved pay Player with 11 points and about seven assists. Doc Rivers, Coach of the Year for the 76ers. Alrighty, we don't really care about any of these since none of our guys didn't make it, I'm pretty sure. All Rookie First Team, Devin Booker's there. How much did you average? Average, oh, he averaged 22, was it two and a half and four? Not really close to 50, 40, 90, but eh. he is getting better though. It's just the team around him. He's not hes not that good of an overall yet. He is an 80, so he's progressing pretty fast. I'm just gonna simulate through this since of course we're not in with a 31 and 51 record. So just to reiterate that like the, the Suns can do whatever they want. Like I put everything to automation. So if they want to keep Devin Booker, if they want to trade him for some reason, that's up to them. And the Pelicans just came back from 3-0, I'm pretty sure. Pelicans win. Zion with finals MVP their retirements. Oh, Chris Paul. Do I keep? I feel like I should keep him. Is there anybody? Yeah, there's nobody else. I'm keeping. I, I'm. I'm over, overturning UDs. I feel like it's not right. And Chris Paul. I mean, like, if we get Victor Webanyama, I feel like we should. We should just keep Chris Paul just to see. Cause he. How much did? He, average 14. He still had 10 assists, so I. I feel like it's still get, a good idea to keep him around. We'll overturn his decision just to see if we can maybe make a playoff run. But we'll see. Okay, let's go to the lottery just to see. Because we see if we're going to get this pick. Oh, we went to six. Ooh. Because we did improve. Okay, let's just skip the lottery and see. So we have the four pick. So mm, I think we should take one of the Thompson twins. That's that's my opinion. But we'll see. Rocket, uh, Rockets, Magic Spurs, and then us. Picked up a shooting guard, which makes no sense. We're just going to go to player progression and just see. Alrighty, player progression. Why does it say Booker? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> Since I did lower down Booker's overall, it goes down technically by eight because I did reset him. So... So he went up about three overall since we last saw him because he was an 80 overall. So he did, it says he, he decreased, but like, it, it's not really, he didn't really decrease. He did get better physical though, so, uh, I mean, I don't know. Did we sign anybody? Chris Paul got a lot worse. I'm not worried about uh, Booker getting down that many overalls. We signed Andre Godala. This team's not really that good. I think this team's just going to be in the... In the lottery again. Alrighty, so this is our starting lineup. Chris Paul down to an 85. Devin Booker, Mikhail Bridges, Royce O'Neal, and DeAndre Ayton, Cameron Payne, Dario Saric, Dwayne Washington Jr., and then Smith. I, I'm not going to even try and pronounce his first name, which was our first round pick. I kind of want one of the Thompson twins, but you know, we'll see. Hopefully, Devin Booker can really carry us this year. Going to send me to the in the regular season let's stop if they make any big trades for for people so yeah alrighty so we're at the trade deadline and uh so I just wanted to show you the team we lost Royce O'Neal but we got this guy and we also lost Andre Godala we also signed Dennis Schroeder and then we also got Chetty Osman um we are currently 19 and 36 which is pretty bad again i would like to be up here in the thunder wow shea at an 89 josh giddy at an 88 82 83 they have drummond now oh okay let's just scroll past him um yeah okay with, with that i'm just gonna i'm just gonna simulate the regular season okay bye luca wins another mvp averaging another almost 40 point triple double victor wins rookie of the year with 25 and 13 on the rockets brogdon again with six man of the year averaging um 16 Giannis with defensive player of the year again jonathan kuminga with almost 18 and 9 or sorry 8 and then JB Bickerstaff for I don't even know what team. We were bad. We we're 29 and 53, which is worse than last season, which makes no sense. 
I don't know why. Um, did he make it? One of the Thompson brothers already made it. How well did he progress? He's an 85 now. He can shoot from essentially anywhere. He can't defend. That's Devin Booker, though. So, we'll see. Chris Paul, just please retire. I, I wanted to maybe get a playoff push, but he's just... He's taking up 30 million. I should have saw that. And go into another offseason where hopefully we can actually do something. Oh, wait. Let me stop it. I need to look at the... Uh, what did he average? Okay, he's up. This is probably his best season ever with 28. Because he had to carry everyone. 28, 4-4. Four and four, A steal. 50-40-90. Pretty good. It's Devin Booker. I mean, he should... He's playing probably the most minutes on the team so but he's got nobody around him like even right now like i don't even like deandre Ayton on this team he's hopefully the cap they have enough cap room where they can um get somebody but we'll see and the cavaliers win led by donovan mitchell with 38 points I'm just gonna go to the off season hopefully we have like a good pick oh no wait i didn't i put in auto generated because I'm offline right now because 2K is updating, so player retirements, we're just going to let Chris Paul retire. Why do we have the fifth best odds? Okay. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me the Thunder are going to get it. That team was like in first when I first saw at the trade deadline. And we have the sixth pick. Great. You know what I never understand about 2K? Like, they put like draft combine. Do you guys really, do you? who goes to like the draft combine and then pre-draft workouts i've never seen people do oh wow the top guy's an 81 overall oh he's not even the top guy oh he's 78 he might slip he might slip to us maybe but like nobody ever goes to that Let's see who we got <laughs> doyle toscano <laughs> who's a 76 overall the 81 went first. We had the like sixth pick. Oh my gosh, we could have taken this guy, Joshua Childress. And this way, we just we just need people. It doesn't really matter about position. <laughs> this team is just so bad that it just does not matter. Let's just go to player progression, see who we get. Alrighty, player progression. Devin Booker's an 88 overall with DeAndre Eaton at an 87. Miles Bridges at an 84 with our second year player being an 80. So we just need this point guard who didn't improve to just be good. Cause Devin Booker is already, he's pretty good at playmaking. So hopefully, hopefully he can carry us this year. Alrighty, let's go to the start of the season. Or hopefully we can finally make a playoff appearance. We just, we just suck at this point we're 28 and 54 we're somehow getting worse every season i don't understand jokic wins mvp averaging a triple double everything else really doesn't matter it's about the same oh there's dice daniels <sighs> how much did he's he's not even here he's he's not even on the list what we made it what we're in the 10 seed never mind I take it all back. How are, how are we in the 10 seed as 28 and 54? Let's just see Devin Booker averages 28.4 since last season. His rebounds went up and his assists went up. Almost 50, 40, 90 again. So decent, decent. I also realized that there's three more years of this. I gotta sit through three more years. I don't know, yeah, three more years of this. We're just being this bad. How bad was the league then that we can make it into the plate? Are you kidding me? There were one, two, three, four, five, six, six teams under 30 wins and we got in. Because we went on a three game win streak. Oh my gosh. How about in the. <laughs> There's only one team in the East under 30 wins. Oh, it's a good thing now the West is bad. And LeBron's still here, so we gotta play them. Alrighty. Let's see. 
let's just you know what at this rate let's just sim cast it because it's been so long so let's go fastest and we lost there there was our playoff hopes and Devin Bucker only scored 16 points <sighs> I'm just so far I thought this video was gonna turn out so much better I thought it was gonna be so much better than this even the Rockets are here oh my gosh you know what? on to next season I mean I'm, I'm not gonna show you anything until we either move teams or are in the playoffs because all of this is boring or make an all-star appearance because we haven't done that yet alrighty see it LeBron's plot trying to retire I'm not having that you're, you're staying another year <laughs> in the play-in and then have the fourth best odds to win it <laughs> that makes no sense and the thun what the thunder just have so many picks or we have the second pick okay hopefully this is good let's exit the lottery and then let's see the big board just to see who, who we can get we're supposed to get the swede see now i understand the 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 pre-draft workouts now the now this makes sense. This makes a ton of sense. Who do we get? Okay, we actually got a decent power forward. Okay, I'm happy with this. 611. He's a three level scorer. So out of out of out of George Mason. Looks like he was the best one of the best players in the board. We could have had this point guard, so. Hopefully he can help us. At this rate, even this guy could help us. I mean, literally, this team is so bad. Let's just go to player progression. I'm just waiting for Devin Booker to become either a free agent or a 90 overall to, to literally help this team. Because it's, it's absolutely dreadful. Alrighty, so Devin Booker is up to a 93, which I believe is his overall right now in the game. So it took him three years to get to his overall. But he's pretty much good at everything. Somebody has 91 physical. And then Aiton is going down for some reason at 27. Makes no sense. Bridges is going up. And our point guard, Toscano, is up to an 81. Including this, this guy kind of plateaued at an 80, which isn't that good. But hopefully this guy is good. So we, ha we actually have a pretty good decent starting five. Hopefully we can actually make the playoffs, not just the play in. I want to make the playoffs. Devin Booker at this point should make an all-star team. If he doesn't, that makes absolutely no sense. This is our team starting the year. Toscano, Booker, Bridges, Augustine, and Ayton. This team looks like a team that would go to the playoffs. Like there's only one guy under an 80 overall and off the bench you have an 80. Who's a score. And then Sarich or Smith, Sarich, Stevens, we got Justice Winslow for his defense, and we got Washington Jr. So we're we should be good. We also got Ty Lu coaching, so hopefully this team can actually do something because I've just been sitting here simulating and they're not doing a single thing. So hopefully, let's see this first game, uh, and it's a loss. Wiseman with 27 and 15. Oh my gosh. Booker with 40. Booker is not the problem in this. He hit 10 threes. We have, is this Sadiq Bey? Did we just pick up Sadiq Bey? Oh, we did. Okay, there's no excuse this season for why we cannot be in, be in the playoffs. Like, this team's actually good. He's finally an all-star. It says four time, but really, it's one time. Alrighty. And we're 25 and 31. Pretty good. <laughs> that sounds so sad. Alrighty. See you at the end of the season. The NBA makes no sense. Last season, we made it with a 28-win season. This season, with 35 wins, we, we weren't close to the play-in. Our team makes... It makes no sense that this team isn't good, too. Devin Bucker with another 28, 4, and 5. Toscano with 18, Aiton with 15, and then Smith with 13. And the worst part is, I just saw that Aiton and Bridges aren't going to come back. They're, they're leaving Phoenix, and I don't blame them. This is horrible. And even Booker saying, I'm of the opinion that testing your value in free agency is just 
just good business sense so half of this team is just just going because it makes no sense that this team isn't in the playoffs there's one two three four five six 80 pluses it makes no sense we also lost Sadiq Bay because we traded for like a first round pick in this guy who went down for overalls. I just saw this Rockets team is crazy. It's got Jalen Green, Kyrie, Jabari Smith Jr., and Victor. And of course they got Isaiah Stewart coming off the bench. And Al Prince and Good and Victor Oladipo and I'm gonna guess Jeremy Grant didn't even play. That's crazy. An 80 overall did not play for you. This league is just too good, I think, now. Devin Booker's up to 92 overall. We have no one. Aiton left. Bridges left. We don't have anybody. We have a ton of 80s who are all guards except for one guy. This, this, this is not going to be a very good season. Victor Webb and Yama finally wins an MVP, averaging 24... 24... 13 we were 34 and 48 this season so hopefully we were good i have no clue we were 500 at a certain point and then now we're just we're just not there and we're not in i'm feeling like the lakers in the next i don't know 10 years at least they're there for some reason i don't blame devin booker if he leaves this this is this is horrible. <laughs> Alrighty. On to the offseason where he'll probably leave. The Blazers, they finally won a ring over the Pacers of all teams. And look who's still on the team. Look who's still here. At 36 years old, it paid off Damian Lillard. It paid off. He's been here all this time. Ah, oh, what a man. You gotta be kidding me. He resigned. He resigned. <laughs> he just resigned. Devin Booker's just in it for the money at this point. Oh my gosh. You're 24. You haven't been to the playoffs once. At least they got Robert Williams, but he's 29. There's nobody on. Actually, this is a pretty, pretty decent starting five, but still. Oh, Mo Bamba. I just want them to make the playoffs. Please, Devin Booker. That's all I'm asking. That's all I want, just to see some playoffs. I've just been here, just, just waiting. Finally, finally, uh, over 500 wins, 44 and 38. All it took was just losing everybody except for Devin Booker. And Victor won MVP. I just, oh gosh, finally. We should be in the, we're the eighth seed, of course. We, of course, we're the eighth seed and we could be knocked out right here. I don't know if we made any changes. Robert Williams went down. We got Denny Avdia. Bucker averaged 29. Toscano, who's an insane point guard. Scoring machine is prototype. 26 of 26 points. So we got four guys with over tw over 15. We just gotta beat. We have to beat Memphis. Unless we're out. Let's sim cast this. Come on. Oh my gosh. We're out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Burger had 18. He chokes in these games. We're in. I I just absolutely just I I do not know what happened. But we're in. We're against Houston. Who is the best team. They've got Kyrie. They've got Jalen Green. They've got Livingston, who's the worst player in 82. They've got Jabari Smith Jr. And then they got Victor. It's Victor versus Robert. The We don't even win at Devin Booker's position because it's matched by Jalen Green. Alrighty. I don't even want to simcast it. I... Let's just go game by game. I, you know what? Simcast. I'm doing. I'm simcasting. We 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 have not seen any gameplay since I have sat down. And they want. I. 
I'm just, I, 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 I just, okay. I didn't even really notice what happened. I kind of just like, <laughs> just accepted the fact that we were just going to lose. Okay, come on. Okay, this is over. Oh my gosh. Booker, I mean, he, he just does not show up in the playoffs. He just, this guy does. Booker does not. I don't understand why. Come on, we're in Phoenix. We're in, they're called like the Valley, I think. And we're going to lose again. Oh my gosh. I, it's, this, oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm just so disappointed. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's very close. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna slow it down, you know. Come on. There we go. 138 left. We're head by two. Let's jump in. Booker's got 21. Augustine's got 25. Toscano's got 29. Webinyama's got 34 and 17. Why have it that way? Kyrie's got the ball wearing number 20. We just gotta win this game. Kyrie pulls up. It's off. Rebound by Stewart and dunks it all over. Who is that? Robert Williams? Devin Booker. Okay, let me let me turn off the announcers. Alrighty. Devin Booker with the ball. Picks up his dribble. Shoots it. Three. Devin Booker. It's off. Oh my gosh. Get the rebound, Devin Booker. Livingston with the layup. Oh my gosh. With a minute left remaining. Alright, inbound to Booker. It's all it's all you, Booker. This is your career sim. Devin Booker. Pump fake, pump fake. Shot. Oh my gosh. Kyrie bringing up the ball, putting the moves on. Toscano dribbling. Jump shot. It's off. Rebound by Robert Williams. Over to Toscano, who's a tired. Over to Warwick. Over to Booker. Shoots it. It's off. Oh my gosh. Devin Booker is selling this game. Victor. And it's good. And this series is probably over. We get into the playoffs and we gotta play the Rockets. Victor's got 36. Let's just see if they can do anything. Inbound to... Give it to... Oh my gosh, they just missed it to Booker. Abdia. Come on, Toscano. Misses it. Yep, that's it. Devin Booker just... just 5 of 18 and 4 of 12. Alrighty. We're in the play in, in 2029. <sighs> At this point, I would be well into my 20s, I think. Yes. Anyways. This is the roster. We have Evan Mobley. I don't even know how we got him. <laughs> how did we get him? He signed on a minimum deal. We got him on a minimum deal. I guess nobody picked him up. There's just good players in free agency. I, I, I don't even know what to say. You know what? Fair enough. I think it's at that point in time now where there's like just so many good players in free agency they just sign. So we have Evan Mobley. This is great. We have someone besides Devin Booker. And Devin Booker averaged 30 this season. Okay. I feel like we're good then. We also have Isaiah Mobley. Alrighty. I feel confident then. I feel confident. It's the lineup we're with. Toscano, Booker, Warwick, Mobley, Moncrief, who's a 75 overall. At this, I, I'd much rather just have August. <laughs> and we're running like 42 minutes, 43 minutes. You know what? I'll take it. Alrighty, New Orleans. Play. We have to essentially win out to, to make it out of here. Come on. I wonder if Zion is still here. Oh, come on. Slow it down. 
Okay, we're, we're, unless they have a comeback, we're good. Let's go. 33 from Booker. Mobley did nothing <laughs> with 33 minutes. He had 9 and 12. But Booker carried us. But he was 2 for 10 from 3 already. Facing Denver. We need to win this game to stay in. Alrighty. No, I... I clicked the wrong thing. We lost by four. I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad that I didn't... It's, uh, the, this team wasn't good anyways. <laughs> Look at Mobley, Mobley. Six points. Desmond Bain's on this team now. They still have Bones Island and they still have Jokic. Who's... Who's 34? <sighs> I'm so disappointed. We should've... Should've made the playoffs this year. Or, yeah, because technically the play-in isn't even the playoffs. It's it's literally just like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it honestly doesn't matter. And the Rockets team just keeps rolling. That Rockets team is just too good. I think the top teams I've seen win is literally OKC, Rockets, Portland, and the Pacers. Those are like the only four teams I've seen win. And the Pelicans, the very first season. I'll, I'll show you guys at the end the like the final i guess the champions because at this rate devin bucker's career is just like chris paul's it, it's it's going nowhere i also like for the draft combine it's trey burke and they haven't changed that in years it's just always been trey burke i also do want to say another thing since since steve Ballmer is on the screen i love owners like steve Ballmer and mark cuban because like they're at the games they're they're having a good time like enjoying the teams while like other owners just like they honestly just don't care like they're not up celebrating if their team wins or not they're just on their phone doing more business i understand you're a business person but like come on there are people in this world that would do anything just to to make that amount of money just to own a team at least just enjoy what what you have and Devin Booker is regressing at 26. Why are you regressing at 26 years old? It's at this point that I'm just so done with this game that look, just looking at this roster is so dumb from top to bottom that Devin Booker just can't get it done. He's a 91 at 27 years old. He's got 99 potential. I don't know why he can't do it. And I was looking around the league at this point at the other teams and it just seemed like They've got better depth than us because we just have Devin Booker at a 92 and we have nobody else over an 85 besides him. So, I mean, I can't really do anything about that, but like we just kept losing and losing and losing. It's a point where this rebuild just is not fun anymore. <laughs> this just is not good to watch. And even the best player, Victor, Victor Webanyama, at a 97 overall is the best player in the league. And at this point, I just decided not to put in auto-generated guys as they were just, like, too overpowered. I just put in, like, random draft classes, like the um, really old ones, the historic ones, to make it, I guess, more interesting. But we're just going to keep losing and losing and losing. Until Devin Booker either gets a teammate or he gets literally out of Phoenix, which seems like that's what he wants to do, but he keeps re-signing here. And this team just is so bad. It, it, it looks so promising at the beginning of the season. It's essentially like watching like Tracy McGrady, like such a good scorer, but he cannot get to the playoffs because there's no one else on his team. It's... It, it's it's so frustrating and i'm realizing that it's actually horrible that i put him back down to a to his 70 because like now all the players from the original phoenix team are gone so yeah oh, let's see what our record is at the end of the season Alrighty, so this is not a drill we're in 2036 and we made the playoffs we made it past the plan so we're the eighth seed right now Devin Booker keeps re-signing contracts, so he's, he's he's still here. Let me show you the uh, the team we have. We're against the Lakers. It's Devin Booker, Ian Gilbert, 
Franklin Weaver, Jesse Lyles, and Willard Arthur against Evan Walker, Isaac Mason, Percy Murphy. Uh, uh, we look so much worse than this team. <laughs> but we made the playoffs finally. Also, Devin Booker's got last year in his deal. I just haven't shown you anything. He's just scoring like 20 points a night and just not making the playoffs. Um, he did make a uh, all 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 nba second team i realized i wasn't recording so <laughs> but anyway um we have a decent team i feel like we have a ton of 80s so that, that's actually pretty good so i feel like we'll, we'll be good in this series i don't know we'll just we'll simcast every game because it's the first good thing that's happened this whole simulation except for that other t one time that we were in the playoffs okay it's close Okay. Come on. I kind of want a close game, but alrighty. 136 left. Alrighty, we're ahead by three with a minute 36 left. Mason with the ball dribbling. Guarded by Booker. Over to Bowman. Pump fake. Kicks it out back to Mason. Dribbling. I don't know what he's doing. Out to Walker. Shoots a three. It's good. Tie game. A minute 20 left remaining. Alrighty, I just want us to win one game. We have not won a single game in the playoffs this this year. Devin Booker, player of the game. He's got 30 tonight. Please, Devin Booker, please make a big shot. Booker with the ball dribbling. Drives in. Stops. Kicks it out to Weber. To Weaver over to Arthur. Passes it to Weber. Three. It's good. Yes. Finally. We might win a game. Bowman bringing up the ball. Guarded by Booker. Driving to the lane. Blocked. Weaver bringing up the ball. On a fa uh, not really a fast break. Over to Booker. Layup. It's good. Up by five with 45 seconds remaining. Come on. Just gotta stop, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. And it's missed! Watkins with the re rebound and foul. Alrighty. We can hold on. We can hold on. Okay, there we go. I feel like one more basket, unless they're gonna foul. Okay. I'm just gonna simulate to the end. We should be good. Bucker with 32. Gilbert, who's our who's point guard. Yep. And then Weber with 22. With a big three at the end. Alrighty. Game two. I was hoping we sweep this team. I just, I hope we just make it to the, to the finals. Ready fourth quarter. Slow it down. Come on. Make a comeback. It's four. I'm not going to jump in yet. Who has the ball? <laughs> Booker three point shot. Okay, this is over then. Yeah. Ah, oh, Booker with 33. He just doesn't have another scorer with him. Yeah, they're just a much more well rounded team than us. I feel like we can win the series though. Based on what we saw from that, I feel like. We're a really good team. It's close. It's tied with a minute and 16 remaining. Finally, after how many hours of just simulating and just like not even looking at the screen because of how bad we are, we're finally in. I don't even think we had a winning record. I'll, I'll check after this, but I'm pretty sure we didn't have a winning record this like entire time. Alrighty. Gives it to Weaver, out to Gilbert, over to Lyles, tie game with a minute, 10 remaining, Booker with the layup, misses it, grabs his own miss, goes up again, and it's good! Yes, Devin Booker, yes! Yes! He's so old right now, he's 30. Mason with the ball, it's like a big guard, and he dunks it all over Lyles. He's got 22. 
Booker bringing up the ball tie game with the with 50 seconds remaining. Please, Booker, please be clutch. Please. Drives in. Layup. It's good. Yes. Yes, Devin Booker. Alrighty. Come on. Mason bringing up the ball again. Dancing. Drives in. Blocked. Gets his own miss. Missed. Over to Gilbert. Up to Weaver. Drive, drive, drive. Oh my gosh. Goes up for the layup. And it's good. Four point game. Yes. Yes. This team can finally win a series. In so long. <laughs> the last time they won a series was actually this past year. When they... <laughs> They, they were the first seed and made it to the second round. They have not won a, a game, for that matter, since this. Ian Gilbert with 29. Watkins inbound the ball to Walker, over to Murphy, over to Bowman, who drives. Tough layup. And it's off. Rebound by Booker, over to Gilbert, and it's going to be the foul game. I'm just going to just gonna simulate. Gilbert with 31. Booker with 27. Weaver with 22. We have a really good shooting core. Uh, yeah, I feel like if our our bench is pretty deep because there's, there's a lot of 80s on this team. I'm just surprised though that we're the eighth seed. We're just going essentially toe to toe with this team. So, already come. Oh my gosh, that first quarter was horrible. Yeah, this game's over. Alrighty, Ooh, Booker with 26, Mason with 38. This guy with 23 and 11. Their whole team is this. Just the overall is a lot better. It's tied 2 2. Back in LA. Come on. This game's also over. Oh my gosh. 3 2 to the Lakers. 44 from Booker. 30. I, I don't know what to say. The, they just. I feel like whoever in this series gets more bench scoring is just gonna win. This is make or break. This is this is game game six. We have to win this. Come on. There we go. It's close. No, it's not close. Alrighty, game seven. Gilbert with twenty seven. Booker with twenty one. Yep, game seven. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Fight back. Come on. Oh, my gosh. No, it's over. Oh, my gosh. I waited that long and just get eliminated. Booker had 23. Mason with 22. Ten, almost a triple-double on the other side. He shot horrible. Oh, my gosh. Gilbert and Booker shot horribly. 9 for 22 and 6 for 20. Just a terrible shooting night for the tall team. Oh my gosh. And it's Celtics, Lakers again. And the Celtics won, led by this guy. I think they went back to back. They won last year. Alrighty, I'll see you in the playoffs. Alrighty, so looks like Devin Booker re signed, I think. Did he re sign? Or I think this is the last year on his. It might be the last year on his deal. But the team got better. But he got worse, so we'll see. We have a pretty good, I would say, core of players, so hopefully we can make another playoff run this year. He's making almost he's making seventy million dollars almost seventy million dollars a year, which is crazy. But he's thirty three, so maybe we got another seven years of this. I I I'm hoping not, but my man signed another deal for four years. He's gonna be here when he's 38. He's regressing in every area. At least our point guard's improving. We got a predecessor. <laughs> but please, just make the playoffs with this team. Just once. Really make the playoffs, not the play in, the playoffs. Please. That's all I'm asking for. I'm in 2037. <sighs> I'd be an old man at this point. <sighs> I am an old man, just wa just looking at this, just sitting here and just looking at how bad Phoenix will be. Alrighty, we're back in the playoffs again in 2040 with a 42 and 40 record and we're playing the Lakers again, of course. Devin Booker's down to an 85. <laughs> uh, 
We'll see. We'll see. This is the highest seed that we can get is literally an eighth seed. Yeah, it's over. Game one, Devin Booker scoring. He's still averaging, I think, like 20, so he's still doing pretty well. It's just the, the, everybody on the team's getting older, and there's just it's not working anymore. And this one's also over. Devin Booker, he's putting he's putting in 29 a night. It's just I think that he's just so bad at defending that like it's kind of slowing us down. This is like the worst career simulation I've ever done. I'm just sitting here simulating every single year and it's just not working. And now nah, that's it. Yeah, he's averaging 20, but like they're, they're just, they're just not defending. I mean, you have three guys with oh, 20 plus and it's three, three, zero. 3-0. And let's see. Final game. Probably. Until I come back in like another 40 years to use. And we lost. I don't even want to look at Booker's numbers. He's averaged 20 a year. He's down to an 85. This is like probably it. It's probably one of the last years. Hopefully. I just want him to move to a different team. Hopefully. Maybe the Rockets. The Rockets and Victor Webb and Yama have been winning like in the playoffs every single year making at least to the second round i'm just so bored and this is insane amen thompson who <laughs> was literally drafted the year as after i started this ret is retiring which is pretty crazy i'm just waiting for this to be over you know he hasn't done anything playoff time or retirement time whatever comes first or new team Alrighty, so i've just checked and it is 2041 his contract was up and he it's nowhere to be seen. He was, I think, about an 80 overall. Um, so we're just gonna try and go find him real quick. Okay, so he's just he's just not signed. Okay, he he's signed somewhere. He's he's 39 years old, and he's on the Grizzlies. Okay, let's let's go see the Grizzlies. Alrighty, so they have a small forward, a shooting guard, a point guard. It's it's not the worst team. They have a ton of 80s, so may I mean, what's their record? Two weeks into the, <laughs> they're one game better than the Jet than the Suns. Okay, hopefully, he can do something. Seven points a game. He's coming to the end of his career. How many minutes is he getting? He's getting, he's getting eight minutes. We're, we're just here to win a ring. We're just here to win a ring. I will see you at the end of the season. Alrighty, we were the best team in the West with a 61 and 21 record. With Devin Booker being like the... <laughs> Where is he? The... Sit eighth man? I think. He averaged six points this year. <laughs> he still had really good shooting splits, which is kind of funny, but you know. He only averaged like eight minutes. First game against the Pelicans. We're just here to get him a ring. They got 190. That, 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 that's about it. We got a ton of 80s. So I think that's why. And Phoenix is nowhere to be found. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sim, sim like simulate each game, and then just he had 11 this game. Until we get to a crucial game, or we get to something. I don't know. Uh, there's two on three, and nope, and four one. Finally, we made it to the second round. Devin Booker has made it to the second round, and he had six in this game. We're just gonna watch gameplay if it gets to like a game seven where we get to the finals. That's when I'm gonna simcast it. Hopefully, we can get there, and there we go. On to the conference finals. I didn't even see who was on this Denver team. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Uh, he had four in the closeout game. <laughs> and then Houston, which still has Victor at an 84 overall. Simulate. Oh, we lose game one. It was all Booker's fault. You got two points. 1-1, one, 2-1. One, 
Come on, come on. You can get to the finals. At least get to the finals. There we go. Devin Booker in the finals versus the Pacers. 80, oh, I, there's like no players still left. So, I mean, it's 80 overall versus 80 overall. We win game one. Booker has, is this, no way. Uh, I thought, I thought this was Toscano, the, the point guard. He had eight points. Um, we'll, we'll simcast it so that we can actually watch something. Never mind. We just blew him out. Booker at 11. Let's go. Let's go. 2 0 up. And. Looks like we're going to see some gameplay. And. It's tied. Okay. We're going to jump in and see if I don't want to put, do I put Booker in? You know, we'll, we'll put him in. When we get in, we'll sub him in for the Grizzlies. Booker has eight points. He's an 83 overall right now. He went up already. We'll put him in where with the ball inbound to McLeod over to Wheeler driving in layup and it's off rebound by Garrett over to Sanchez spin move. Down to Flowers, puts it up, and it's good. Two-point game with a minute 15 remaining. Game three. Wheeler with the ball dribbling around. Drives. Bump fake. Stop. Shoots it. It's off. Rebound by Young. Goes up. And it's good. Tie game with a minute four remaining, and we have a 2-0 series lead. Flowers bringing up the ball. Flowers drives in. Layup. And it's good. I'm ah, a floater. And it's a two-point game with Indiana in the lead. Wheeler with the ball. Driving in. I don't know what he's doing. Down to Young. Shoots it. And he's fouled. He's fouled out. The center. And the first one is off. Okay, whatever. He makes the second. Devin Booker's not going to be in the game, I guess. Flowers bringing up the ball. Dribbles, dribbles, spin move, layup, and it's good with the tough layup, Flowers. It's a three-point game. Inbound to McLeod. Dribbles over to Johnson. Around the paint, pull-up jumper is good. It's a two-point game. Flowers, and on the ball, foul. And it's tied. I, I missed it because I didn't think that they were going to get it. And it was a it was a turn. What is this? It's a free throw made timeout. They lost the ball. They got the ball back. He threw it to where for a three and it just ended. And now it's it's all gone into overtime. And they win. What? Devin Booker had eight points. <laughs> he had six free throws. Alrighty. 3-0 lead. Come on, close it out. And it's close. Nah, it's not close anymore. And that's it. Alrighty. They took a game. Booker had four. Four, three, and four. He's contributing. Come on. Just close it out. And they've done it. I'm not looking at the celebration, but they've done it. Devin Booker's won a ring finally. Not on not not on the Suns, but on the Grizzlies. He got twelve points in the closeout game. It was four for five from three, which is really good. And the Grizzlies won a championship. JD Young won finals MVP with 17, 14, and 1. So will Devin Booker retire? Yes. So he is retired. So he was inducted to, into the Hall of Fame with 188, with 25 points, 3.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and uh, averaging a steal. So he, he was a really good scorer. Jersey retirements. His number one will be retired with the Phoenix Suns. Okay, let's go to, over to NBA records. He held the most amount of points 
probably because he he went back in time. But he has 48,000 points, so that's why. Um, <laughs> he has the most amount of field goals at 17,000. He has the most threes ever made with six, six and a half thousand. Um, free throws, he's got seven most with uh, almost 8,000. He's not on rebounds. Assists? Oh, he is. He is on here at 30 with uh, 8,756. He's not on blocks. Steals, he might be. He is 33rd with uh, 1,915. Uh, he's got to have the most minutes played. Yeah, with 65,000. That's impressive that LeBron had 64,000. He's got the most second of most turnovers ever with 4,630. Games played is a 1,888. Fouls, he has the most with 5,379. 40 point games, he's sixth with 107. 50 point games, he's here at 12. Suns, he holds his, his still record of 70, still holds. He's got four of the top five. 64 was his high during this whole time. Most field goals made, most three pointers made with 12. Well, free throws made with 24. Award history. Victor Webinyaman just absolutely destroyed everybody. He just kept winning it every single year. Him and Luka. Past champions. The Grizzlies were actually insane. Oh gosh, I didn't actually notice that. So I guess we did put them on the best team. But the Rockets were actually probably the best team. Because they won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or 4, 5, 6, 7... They won seven times with Victor, which is insane. He was a one-time champion, a 10-time All-Star, uh, first team All-NBA, All-NBA second team in 2035, first team All-Rookie in 2023. So, I mean, he had a decent career, but he just, he got a ring at the end. Yes, that's it. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, subscribe, like, and comment any video you want to see. Um, my next video, I think, will be um, Pro-Am on my career, so um, look out for that, and uh, yeah.